Ja, hello everyone and welcome back to Eastwood Zoo. A wonderful new episode because it has been a couple of weeks since we uploaded anything. And uh, today is the day uh, that you're gonna see a new Eastwood Zoo episode. So uh, that's very exciting. So you might be like, uh, Zoof, you promised us a new episode each week. Well, in theory, I did do it. But uh, yeah, we had to finish the zoo. So uh, the uh, the contest is over now, as you might have seen on the uh, on the channel. We already did a live stream in which I uh, showcased all the new all the submissions from the mini zoo contest. And the contest is now over, and the votes are open. So if you are in our Discord, make sure you um, you vote on your favorite creation. And of course, you have to check them out yourself first and see which one you like most, and then uh, yeah, you can uh, you can vote for it. But I really wanted to uh, to finish the project uh, together with the other guys so uh, who uh, participated in the in the contest and um, yeah with that I just didn't have time to also make the videos and upload it and, uh, and edit it and uh, yeah so what I did I finished the zoo and I recorded everything so that's good news because in the next three to four weeks you will have a new Eastwood Zoo episode each week I mean that's amazing right that's what everyone wanted so you are uh, pretty certain you will see a new video each week and we also have something new and exciting coming up but more about that later but not in this video but you will see uh, yeah you will see it in on the social medias or something like that yeah very exciting new project and uh, yeah you can already guess what it's gonna be in the comments let me know if you uh, got it right, uh, yeah, I will give you a thumbs up. Yeah, everyone gets a thumbs up, so everyone will think uh, that I uh, that you're right. That's fun. Uh, what are we doing today in this episode? Because uh, yeah, that's also very important. What's happening in the background? Well, we are making a new habitat. Oh, very exciting! Uh, a new habitat for the Siberian tiger. And uh, while while I was building this, I. Uh, I was planning to make it for the uh, wild water, wild water, wild water buffalo, something like that. Um, but while I was building, I was like, ah, that's not very exciting. It doesn't really fit. And I wanted to do something else. So I wanted to do sun bears. But yeah, sun bears also. Yeah, it's a little bit too big for sun bears, this area. So then I was scrolling through the animals that we can uh, use and I found the tigers and yeah 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 this is the perfect pot spot for some uh, tigers so uh, we're gonna put the uh, siberian tiger in this pot and uh yeah it's gonna be amazing it's just looking really well and i think it's uh, a nice uh, uh, animal to have in this zoo uh, yeah it will attract a lot of guests and uh, they will uh, they will enjoy so uh, what are we doing now we are making a double uh, viewing uh, spot over here i had no clue what i what i wanted to do uh, with this part and uh, I was talking uh, to leader uh, while building and he said yeah, maybe uh, you can make a double level uh, viewing uh, over there uh, that's a good idea so I made that yeah, yeah that's the theory about this uh, yeah behind the build you know uh, yeah so very nice a lot of struggle with the concrete over here and with the, with the, with the fencing and uh, you will see that the, uh, the actual viewing spot will be a little bit higher I thought it would look uh, pretty nice so uh, yeah, I will cover up everything again with these uh, concrete things and uh, 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 fencing and it will look uh, very nice. Yeah. So, if I, with the next project I'm going to do, I really want to focus more on like dedicated viewing spots. Because in this zoo, what I don't like about it is that everything is uh, next to a path. So basically everything is a viewing spot. And it's very nice for guests, but not very nice for the, uh, for the animals. So, uh, yeah. In, uh, in, in, in one of the last episodes, you will see that I did uh, think about it a little bit. So, uh, yeah. But you can guess which animals you will see in uh, in, Vel or in Veluwe Zoo. Not in Veluwe Zoo, in Eastwood Zoo in the, in the next couple of episodes. So, uh, we have two more habitats coming up after this video. And then uh, we will do a nice little two video um, let me know if you would like to see like a cinematic video out of it or uh, or a tour or uh, maybe you want to see both uh, yeah I can I can always do that 
uh, yeah, so we have to finish up this entire area, which is not really exciting. And I made this fence and I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will only be used in the water. So I, uh, I tried to make it curvy. Didn't look very nice. So yeah. Also with the tigers, the wooden fence is just not enough. So uh, over here, I'm using the electrical fence to uh, yeah to make sure that the uh, the animals won't be able to reach uh, yeah too close to the guests, and uh, for safety measures, you know, very important. And I really like this little trick. It's uh, quite an old trick. I think everyone knows it, how to use it. But yeah, it looks nice. Watercolor, I'm changing it everywhere. And as you can see, I was doing some uh, terrain work outside of the uh, outside of the border because I'm allowed to do that. And you can see I'm crossing the border a little bit, but the uh, the fence that I will use on the back will be a big rock wall, and it will all be a nature tab. So uh, that's uh, it's gonna be perfect. Trying out some different things, but uh, yeah, uh, in the end, I'm super happy with the uh, rock wall that I did over here. I'm using this. Uh, this big rock piece turning it around, you know, using every angle of it. And I think it looks really nice and quite uh, realistic. So that's what I did for uh, for the tigers. And I will reuse it uh, a couple of times in the zoo because I uh, yeah, I, I really like the look of it. So as you can see, it's quite easy to make uh, an interesting looking uh, rock wall with these pieces and with this technique. So, and it's uh, quite fast. You can see I uh, repeated it a little bit too much. So I'm... Uh, just trying out some uh, some different stuff, copying it, and then um, I think it, yeah, over here I will uh, make some differences in height to make it look uh, a little bit more uh, interesting. So that's uh, that's quite nice. Yeah. So what else do we have to uh, to talk about? It's quite a long video again, so I have to talk a uh, quite a lot. So uh, yeah, yeah. I've been to uh, the zoo recently. I've been to Pyre Dyser, which was really, really nice. Something completely different from uh, from what we uh, we are used to, like a typical zoo. It's like highly themed, very high budget. Um, it's it's such a huge, huge zoo that you won't be able to uh, see everything in one day. But it was really, really nice. I really uh, had a wonderful day over there, and uh, I'm definitely going back uh, next year. I think um, yeah, to to explore it even more. And uh, yeah, it was, was really fun. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to uh, Singapore Zoo in uh, in a couple of uh, weeks. Yeah, weeks, one one and a half month, something like that. Really excited to visit that place again. It will be a huge inspiration as well. And uh, yeah, the the fun thing with the Pirate Dyser was you can really see that Frontier took a lot of inspiration from uh, from that place. I think there's really recognizable uh, pieces like the uh, the Asian uh, part of the zoo. It's um, you can basically see the Planet Zoo pieces in real life. So that was uh, that was really cool. Highly recommend anyone uh, to visit that place if you uh, I don't know if you're in the neighborhood. I wasn't really in the neighborhood, but um, yeah, it was definitely worth the drive uh, over there. So uh, yeah, very nice. Um, the, the pieces, what I'm using, uh, what I'm doing, I'm doing uh, some foliage. Yeah, bamboo, very nice. And um, I'm using the uh, the uh, same bushes as I've been using all over the place. You can see the habitat is kind of uh, coming uh, coming together a little bit. It's quite lush, and I think it looks. Uh, pretty nice for a uh, yeah for a tiger enclosure um, yeah, nice foliage there will be a lot of foliage and a lot of rock work in this uh, episode I didn't put uh, much attention to the indoor part uh, basically because I was on a, a, a tight schedule with uh, with the building uh, part I had to finish it so I didn't have time to really uh, dive into the uh, realistic uh, indoor uh, parts but I don't think it's really necessary for this uh, for this project so I don't think I will go back in and, and do it later on I wasn't really feeling like it so uh, it looks nice from the outside that's the most important stuff yeah. yeah maybe in the future we will focus a little bit more on uh, on some realistic indoor enclosures but, um, especially for tigers I think that's quite a quite an intense thing to do you will need a lot of time to do it well and to do it right so uh, yeah, it's not what it wasn't really the uh, the time and the place for that but as you can see it's coming along uh, really nicely using the new uh, 
the new glass pieces very happy with those if you combine it with some uh, with some other foliage looks really nice oh you're deleting it again i know because i used the drink cars over here because it looked a little bit better uh, but i think in the end i will also uh, put the uh, the new glass pieces back in to make a nice little uh, combination of the two of them and then uh, yeah what else will happen in this video not a lot actually yeah i think it's a nice relaxing video and uh, watching me uh, finishing up the uh, the build with, uh, with a lot of rock work and uh, and, uh, and a lot of foliage and uh, yeah not much uh, not much happening right now oh these uh, nettle pieces i didn't use them very often so uh, i will use them now very nice covering up the rock wall very important in the back and then um, in the end of course i will make a lot of foliage in the back of this uh, habitat so it really uh, it's gonna be a immersive experience hopefully uh, eastwood so that's the only part i still have to do i know it's uh, it's it's uh, yeah it's past the deadline of the mini zoo contest but i'm not allowed to win it anyway you can't vote for my creation so uh, yeah i can do whatever i want right but i still wanted to see if i can also make something within those 10 weeks and to see if it's realistic for people to finish it within the 10 weeks and i think it was uh, because sometimes i took a break of like um one or two weeks from uh, from building and uh, i think it was quite uh, doable to uh, make something nice and uh, yeah especially if you have a lot of time uh, you can uh, you can really make something cool in uh, in 10 weeks within this area uh, what i did see uh, within the uh, showcase is that people uh, yeah, went out of the border with a lot of nature tab pieces and uh, i think the 35 by 35 is, is quite big um so maybe we will uh, we'll go a little bit smaller next time we will uh, we will see but yeah i hope a lot of people uh, enjoyed it of course there's a new contest coming up i'm not sure when uh, of course i always give people a little bit of a break but then uh, people start complaining yeah i want to start building again i have no clue what uh, time for the next competition so uh, that will be uh, in a couple of weeks probably the voting is now up and then uh, you will see uh, the winners and there will be a two video of the winner on the channel and that's uh, all gonna take some time and then we have to think about uh, a new contest and i think a lot of people are asking for like a, uh, a duo contest so we all have to team up with someone and um yeah make something nice uh, together and that's really uh, that's i think that's a cool idea and um, so that will be uh, one of the options of course you will be able to vote um yeah for which competition you would like to see again so uh, if you uh, if you want to join make sure you join the discord there's a link down in the uh, description and you will get all the uh, information you need about the contests uh, over there so that's uh, a very nice uh, place to be in if you like these uh, kind of, uh, of things i'm always a big fan of them and um yeah i wish uh, i would see uh, more like interesting uh, plan zoo competitions uh, showing up uh, somewhere so i can uh, join in uh, myself you know and make some uh, yeah I, I, I probably won't win there's so many talented people out there who doesn't have a who don't have a like a youtube channel but are uh, much better builders than i am and i uh, got a lot of inspiration again from what i've seen in this uh, competition people are like uh, crazy talented builders so um, i'm always happy to uh, to be able to to show everyone what others can do and uh, and especially uh, the people who really enjoy building but don't want to make like uh, this uh, yeah, youtube channel or whatever they just want to enjoy the game but make amazing creations i'm happy to uh, to show uh, the creations uh, on my uh, on my channel so uh, yeah thank you for that uh, everyone yeah i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the, the little tour i did i hope you guys uh, appreciate the uh, the showcases i do i know i stopped doing the uh, planet zoo tours although i i feel like doing them again um yeah if you are interested in that please let me know and maybe i will uh, start doing them again um, but of course we will uh, yeah we will uh, start with something new very soon on the uh, on the channel um of course we still have limpopo somewhere but i really don't feel like building a limpopo at the moment like at all so uh, i don't think we will uh, we will come back to that very soon who knows maybe one day i will have like this huge uh, urge to build something in limpopo again uh, yeah. you never know things can happen yeah. so what are we doing the building 
the building, finishing it off. As you can see, I didn't put too much effort into the uh, indoor part. I made this little door. Uh, the uh, tigers can go in, they can go out. Uh, that was also a struggle because right now, how I built it, the tigers weren't able to uh, to go in or out. The transversible area. It's a uh, it's trans. Was it trans trans tra traversable area? Yeah. Someone commented on my video that I always pronounce it in a wrong way so i had to uh, correct myself there over there um yeah so uh, it's horrible to, uh, to work with that for the tigers and uh, finally they were able to get in and out and then the habitat i also had to adjust it because uh, they wouldn't be able to uh, uh, to get uh, past the uh, the big logs and uh, well, it was horrible um, but it will be an even bigger struggle in the uh, in the next episode that you will see but uh <laughs> it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun but uh, still some nice details on the building as you can see uh finishing it off nicely and then the, this area in front of here will be a nice little uh, uh, viewing area for the uh, Brzezowski horses and um, yeah we'll stick a door on it we'll put a roof on it and then it's uh, beautiful and it will be finished and that will be uh, i think i think it will be the end of the video yeah we're almost there so um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then you have to make sure that you hit that little like button. It really helps me out. Especially while uh, Planet Zoo isn't that popular anymore. I would still uh, appreciate, you know, every single view that we're getting. It really motivates me to, uh, to keep going. So uh, yeah, liking and subscribing really helps me out on uh, keeping the channel alive. And uh, keep, uh, keep getting those videos up. Um, so yeah, uh, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, yoo yoo.